Hello. Thank you for calling Dial a Story, presented by the Office of Children's Services, San Francisco Public Library. Valentine's Day is coming soon, so our adapted story about two good friends is called One Zillion Valentines by Frank Modell. One of Marvin's favorite days was Valentine's Day. If I had a lot of money, I'd buy lots of Valentines, said Marvin to his friend Milton. That's silly, said Milton. You don't even have a girlfriend. Valentines aren't just for girls, said Marvin. Valentines are for everybody. If I were a pilot, I'd draw a great big valentine in the sky. No one ever sent me a valentine, said Milton. That's because you never send any, said Marvin. If you don't send any valentines, you don't get any. I never have any money, said Milton. Valentines cost money. Marvin said, you don't have to buy valentines. You can make them. All you do is get a lot of paper and draw a big heart on it. Milton said, I could do that. Anyone can do it, said Marvin. I bet we could make a zillion valentines, one for everybody in the neighborhood. Milton said, a zillion is a lot of valentines. We'd better start right away. Milton went to his house, got out his paint set, his scissors, and colored paper. Marvin went to his house and got out his crayons, colored pencils, and a lot of paper. They made valentines with big hearts, little hearts, skinny hearts, fat hearts, polka dot hearts, striped hearts, red hearts on white paper, and white hearts on red paper. The next morning, everybody in the neighborhood was surprised to find a valentine under their door. Milton said, we have lots of valentines left over. I guess we made too many. No, we didn't, said Marvin. People like to send valentines, too. They don't just like to get them. So Marvin lettered a sign which said, Valentines, handmade, five cents. Many people came to buy them, and the two boys made quite a bit of money. Afterward, Milton said, They are all gone. Great, said Marvin. Maybe, said Milton. But I bet we don't get a valentine from anyone. Sure we will, said Marvin. Follow me. They ran to a candy and card store. Marvin came out with a big red heart-shaped box. He said, A happy Valentine's Day to you, Milton. Milton opened the box. Inside were many delicious chocolate candies. Milton said, a happy Valentine's Day to you, too, Marvin. Pretty soon, the big red heart-shaped box was almost empty. Perhaps you'd like to make one zillion Valentines for your special friends and family, too. Happy Valentine's Day to you. Goodbye.